trick if you can't stop thinking about the narcissist. Tip number one is literally write down the things that you can't stop thinking about them. Is it now the when you guys were first in the love bombing stage or is it the actual here and now when that narcissist is treating you like lying, cheating, disrespecting you, right? Manipulating you, gaslighting you. Now, are you thinking about those moments or are you thinking about the love bombing phase? Because if you're thinking about the love bombing phase, that person was not real. Stand in the facts to understand that that person was not real, right? And bring yourself back into the present moment to remind yourself that that person wasn't real. That how they left you in the relationship is exactly who they are. And when you left the relationship, that's exactly who they are. At the end of the day, we keep reminding ourselves of the love bombing phase. Remind ourselves the love bombing phase because we want to have something to hold on to. That that relationship was a real relationship. The sad fact is, and this is what you have to remind yourself when you're thinking about that narcissist, is they are a narcissist. They have, you know... They have a personality disorder. They, they have psychopathic traits. They're a master manipulator. They were gaslighting you. They were cheating on you. They were lying to you. Standing in the facts and now who they really are and who you educated yourself with the knowledge and who they are. Tip number two is remind yourself who you are, right? Whoever's listening to this, you're a queen. You're a king. That you deserve the world. You're God's greatest creation. So remind yourself to stand in the facts and who God created you to be and who you, sh- how you should be treated and how you deserve to be treated. Number three is standing in the facts and understanding that that was not real. That relationship, that person was only mimicking the wants and needs that you wanted, right? And acted that way and how you wanted. So that wasn't really a real, genuine relationship. Standing in that fact to remind yourself, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling lonely, understanding to stand in the facts also that these are just emotions that you're feeling, right? Which is natural, but it's also your inner child calling you to love you, show up for you, be your best friend, you know, support yourself. Love on you. Tell yourself beautiful and kind thoughts and affirmations. So it's telling yourself again. Number three is to show up for you and understanding who you are and understanding who they are all together. And in that moment, I promise you, those thoughts you're thinking about the narcissist are going to subside. Number three is standing in the facts and understanding that that was not real. That relationship, that person was only mimicking the wants and needs that you wanted, right? And acted that way and how you wanted. So that wasn't really a real, genuine relationship. Standing in that fact to remind yourself, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling lonely, understanding to stand in the facts also that these are just emotions that you're feeling, right? Which is natural, but it's also your inner child calling you to love you, show up for you, be your best friend, you know, support yourself, love on you, tell yourself beautiful and kind thoughts and affirmations. So it's telling yourself again, number three is to show up for you. And understanding who you are and understanding who they are all together. And in that moment, I promise you, those thoughts you're thinking about the narcissist are going to subside. Healing after the narcissist is a freaking journey. Takes one day at a time, one step at a time, right? And implementing things for your betterment. Not to get over the narcissist because then you would be making it about them. Fuck them. In the nicest way possible. It's all about you. King or queen, it's all about you. So let's start implementing these tips to wise up and rise up above these narcissists. Let's get it.